What's up, gang? I am just here in the shop on Saturday because on Friday I got a little burr under my saddle uh, and I wanted to make an upgrade for the Universal Robot. So I was browsing uh, the EMI website. They're a company that makes tooling and accessories, uh, mostly for industrial robots. But they also make some stuff for cobots or collaborative robots like the Universal Robot. I actually bought a bunch of tooling from them, sort of the original tooling for the robot. That was great. They did a fantastic job. I've been very happy with it. But you can also print your own stuff. So what this is, is an air manifold. So a couple of different actuators uh, use pressurized air. Uh, in order to drive those things or a vacuum cup. And what this allows you to do is keep your hoses connected, but remove the downstream side when you're not using that particular tool. Right now it's a little bit of a mess. There are kind of tubes all over and I kind of bend them back and clamp them down and it's just not very nice and it's a little messy. So I think this is an awesome solution. So basically I have a number of air fittings uh, that I'm going to install on here and hopefully it's gonna work. So these big ones, when you put the tube in, it opens that valve and allows the air to flow. When you pull the tube out, that valve closes and stops the flow of air, which is really the key to this whole thing because I wanna be able to remove those downstream hoses without all the air dumping out. I'm gonna thread these guys in. I just kind of made it up. I got two six millimeter and two four millimeter. So the other cool thing is for most of the items on McMaster, like screws and fittings and stuff like that, you can actually download the 3D model directly into Fusion. Um, and so, for example, you could download these part files and put them into your model uh, and basically see exactly what you're gonna get. I did not do that in this occasion, but in other circumstances, that has been incredibly helpful. All right, I'm gonna need some tools to finish tightening this thing up. Right now I'm only using two fours and one six, but this one's capped off, so if I need to run a second line, uh, I've accommodated for that. I also made these little grooves on top to carry one of the sensor wires, and I really just guessed at what the dimensions were gonna be. In my mind, that wire's gonna run through the little groove and I can just push it down and it'll hold it snugly enough uh, for operation, and then you can just pop it out when I remove that tool. So there we are. Let's go try to fit this up on the robot uh, and see if I have to start over or not. All right, so this is generally my current setup. And so yeah, this is a 3D printed thing from EMI. Uh, it works great, but it does not allow the quick disconnect. And so basically here's the manifold. We're gonna replace this. All the incoming air, or at least as far as the manifold goes, is gonna get plumbed into here. But when I remove a tube on the output side, that valve is actually gonna close. So let's give it a try. EMI was fancier than I was and they put these little strap loops in. I'm literally just gonna clamp down on top of this whole thing uh, and hope that works. When I figure out what position I wanna keep it in, I may just put a little piece of like double stick um, masking tape on the back and hold it down with the strap and that should be fine. There, I'm done. One of the questions is how to position this so the hoses don't get tangled up and pinched or pulled tight while the robot is operating. That's partly why I don't wanna fix it right now, um, but I am gonna to have to cut these hoses and then this position is gonna be fixed. Okay, so that's gonna go over that way. So that should be good. That is quite secure. I guess I have to start cutting some airline and making this situation more permanent. So I'm actually only using one of the six millimeter hoses at this point. So. That's all there is to it. These are actually wire cutters, but they're a two-sided cutter with curved jaws. A long time ago, I learned that it was much better to use a curved jaw double-sided cutty thing. If you use something like diagonal cutters, uh, you end up with most often a diagonal cut uh, and it actually squishes the tube and so basically you don't get a square cut. This will give you a square cut. Oh, okay, no going back now. 
Now these hoses are kind of on the wrong side, so I'm just gonna need them through here. These two hoses are at this time obviously directional. I should have marked which hose was which, but it's just as simple as swapping them next time I run this, if they're not correct. So this is my remainder. I should probably cut it when I run the robot. Or like, could they go this way? I don't know. Like if you make this tight, that's definitely gonna bind up and pull out at some point. Um, so I'm actually gonna leave these until I run the robot next. Maybe the same with this guy, because I don't have this tool on here right now, so I don't know how long we'll cut this. So I guess that's it for now. I do have some parts, uh, some Kappa keychain parts to set up in laser. Um, so I guess I will try that next and see if this whole thing works or not. I forgot to record the conclusion to this episode, so here we are. It looks about the same as it did before, but I've got everything plumbed in. I have my one six millimeter tube and the two four millimeters. Right now, this is set up uh, on this gripper to open and close it with compressed air. So if I wanna switch out this tool, all I have to do uh, is pop these two hoses off, remove the tool, put on the new tool, attach the hose here, and everything's good to go. This is just a little bit more efficient, a little bit more functional, and a little bit more aesthetic, if I don't say so myself. So I did forget one thing, and that is I forgot to mark which hose goes where. So I'm gonna go get a Sharpie and do that. Basically, I'm just gonna put a little black Sharpie mark on that fitting and one on the hose. Not fancy, but it works. So whenever I disconnect it, I can tell which goes, which goes hose, which hose goes into which port. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this project. Uh, if you wanna see more cool 3D printed things that I'm making for the shop, probably better like and subscribe. We'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks.